there and welcome to PhD at Living. On the surface, I have a great life. Wife, two beautiful kids, fine house, dog, career that pays the bills, and yet, meh, there's just some damn nagging thing that won't go the hell away. I get in ruts all the time and I feel like I'm just spinning my tires in the car of life. Neo in the Matrix has the red pill. Peter in Office Space has that whole hypnosis heart attack thing going on. Lester in American Beauty gets fired. Big life changing events that cause irreversible changes in character. And I got Tuesdays with Maury. At one point, the titular sage tells Mitch Albom, we're so wrapped up with egotistical things. Career, family, having enough money, meeting the mortgage, getting a new car, fixing the radiator when it breaks. We're involved in trillions of little acts just to keep going. So we don't get into the habit of standing back and looking at our lives and saying, is this all? Is this all I want? Is something missing? Yes! Holy sh cow! Yes! I have all of those domesticated boxes checked and I often feel like I'm just in one big loop. Wake up, feed the dog, feed the kids, take the kids to school, go to work all day, come back, pick the kids up, feed the dog, feed the kids, put the kids to bed, have 45 minutes to myself, go to bed, and start it all over again. And then we get to Saturday and Sunday where the kids don't go to school, so you just have to take care of them all effing day, which is not the worst thing ever, but for anybody who's ever had kids, it's also not a picnic either. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and be 60 and wonder where the hell my life went and what the hell I did with it. So this is me stepping back and taking a look at my life on the internet. As I said in my video for one year of the channel, you might start seeing stuff here that's not explicitly chemistry. PhD at living, right? Not PhD at chemistry. Now that I'm post-second baby hiatus and well over a year of believing not a single person on the planet cares at all, like at all, about my personal problems, I present to you this subsection of the channel called Brain Decanting. I really like the name because I think it describes exactly what I'm looking to do. Take everything happening between my ears up here and sort of dump out what's there on the screen to you and see if there's anything of worth. It's also much more approachable than some of the other names I thought of. No, I'm not going to tell you the other names. Because I'm too damn self-conscious. Yeah, I know that's a problem. No, it's not going to change my answer. Okay, I'm working on it, alright? Which brings us back to the problem, that nagging lack of purpose, feeling, meaning thing. Look, I get it. Global pandemic, race problems, mass murders happening like twice a week, countries invading other countries, and gainfully employed, educated white dude has a problem with the self-actualization part of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Totally fair criticism, and I am not trying to be ungrateful here. I know just how good I have it. Abject poverty doesn't leave a lot of time for self-reflection and musing on the meaning of life. That said, just because my problems aren't as big as those other problems doesn't mean they're not problems at all, and I should, you know, just rub some dirt on it and get over it or something. Believe me, I've tried that! Doesn't work. So this is what I'm going to talk about sometimes, and it's my channel and you're more than welcome to stop watching if it doesn't interest you. If it does interest you, however, and I'm paraphrasing here from a podcast that Angela Duckworth did with James Altucher, if you're like me and how you're doing is okay, but you struggle with how you're doing about how you're doing, then dear reader, please come with me down the rabbit hole. Viktor Frankl described this exact feeling as the existential vacuum. The American Psychological Association defines the existential vacuum as the inability to find or create meaning in life, leading to feelings of emptiness, alienation, futility, and aimlessness. The APA goes on to say that most existentialists have considered meaninglessness to be the quintessential symptom or ailment of the modern age. Sound familiar? Yes siree Bob, that is the exact feeling I have a lot of the time. So how does one fill the existential vacuum? Spoiler alert, I have no idea. That's why I called this video Here's the Problem and not Hey, I figured out the meaning of life, y'all. This video, however, does set the stage for things to come. Thoughts on books, movies, podcasts, YouTube videos, life experiences, or other things that stand out for me and hopefully help me and maybe you get just a little bit closer to answering that all-encompassing existential question. I sincerely hope you find these videos worthwhile. As a 30-something millennial, I often find myself adrift in the sea of life. If these videos can be a buoy for anybody struggling to keep their head above water, or at the very least show you that there's somebody just bobbing in the drink right beside you, then I'll feel like I've done something. And if not, you think this is the dumbest thing you've ever seen, feel free to leave me hateful comments, and I'll have to be okay with that too. See y'all next time.